Hey friends, welcome back. This week we're going to take a look at some footage I've captured over the years of great white sharks interacting with kayakers. I don't often film kayakers around sharks, mainly because surfers, paddle boarders, and swimmers are just more common in the water. But what makes kayaks interesting is how curious sharks seem to be around them, often getting much closer than you might expect. You might remember a recent viral clip of a kayak fisherman in New Zealand being followed for quite some time by a great white shark. That video was everywhere. If you haven't seen it, there's a link to it in the video description below. Hopefully the insights you get from this video will help you understand better what was going on in that viral kayak shark fishing video. And maybe we can determine what the fishermen could have done differently to avoid being pursued by the great white shark. One thing I find especially interesting about kayaks is that great white sharks seem to approach them more frequently than other ocean users. Now to be clear, this isn't based on hard data. It's just anecdotal observations I've made from years of filming. But over time, this seems to be the trend. If you've followed me for a while, you know that most of my footage involves paddleboarders, surfers, and the occasional swimmer. And more often than not, sharks don't seem especially interested in being around them regardless of their size. While I've captured some very close encounters, these tend to be outliers. What I'm pointing to here is frequency, how often these animals approach. So the question is, do great white sharks show greater curiosity toward kayaks? And if so, why? You might remember this clip from an episode I released last year. I'm on the kayak here, and the shark circled us multiple times. For context, the kayak is 12 feet long. This moment confirmed two things for me. First, that this particular shark showed a clear interest in the kayak. And second, even though it was just a few feet away at times, I couldn't see it at all from the surface. In fact, right here, I'm merely guessing its location knowing that in all likelihood the shark would pursue us from behind. To my amazement, the footage from the underwater camera showed the shark just a few feet away. So what's going on here? Why would a shark show more interest in a kayak than say, a paddleboard or a surfer? Here we have a bright yellow kayak with a couple of unsuspecting individuals just cruising along completely unaware that not one, but two great white sharks are slowly trailing behind. This kind of behavior raises questions. Could it be the shape or the color of the kayak? Does the lack of splashing or vibration make it seem more like a drifting animal? Or maybe it's the silence, no motors, just smooth, quiet movement. Take a close look. Can you spot the sharks? If not, let me help you out. Sharks are naturally curious, especially juveniles, and a kayak might just be unfamiliar or interesting enough in their environment to deserve further investigation. Now here's another example. This time it's an inflatable kayak, and once again, the shark clearly shows interest. What makes this clip stand out is that the shark traveled quite a distance just to get this close. The people on the kayak, completely unaware. It circled once, then moved on. But why the kayak? Earlier, the same shark ignored a nearby paddle boarder. Instead, it went out of its way to investigate the kayak. That kind of selective behavior makes you wonder, what are they sensing? What's drawing them in? There are a few possible reasons, and as I show you more footage, keep these in mind. First, silhouette. From below, a kayak might resemble a wounded marine animal, long, slow moving, and quiet. That alone could trigger investigative behavior, 
especially in younger sharks still trying to figure things out. But here's the twist. What about larger sharks? Take this one for example. For context, the kayak in this clip is 15 feet long, and that shark, not far off. When a shark of this size shows interest, it pushes the question even further. What exactly are they perceiving? Is it shape, movement, or something else entirely? Another possible factor, sound and vibration. Kayaks move differently through the water compared to swimmers or surfers. There's no splashing, just steady, low-frequency glide from paddle strokes and the hole slicing through the water. Sharks have specialized organs that detect vibrations, allowing them to pick up the slightest movements from hundreds of feet away. To us, kayaking might feel peaceful and silent, but to a shark, the rhythmic motion could stand out like a drumbeat in a quiet ocean. Maybe that sound triggers a sense of predatory investigation. But whatever the reason, there's one type of kayaker that seems to draw more attention than any other. Kayak fishermen. Kayak fishermen are especially interesting when it comes to shark encounters. In this clip, we have a large fishing kayak and a great white shark approaching from deep below. At first glance, the shark doesn't look very big, but that's deceptive. Because of the depth, it's actually much larger than it seems. Sharks will often approach from below, using the water column to mask their movements. It's a classic predatory behavior, and while it's fascinating to witness, it's a little unsettling when it's happening right under a kayak. So what's going on here? Why do kayak fishermen seem to get more attention from sharks than anyone else? It may have all to do with scent. The smell of bait or blood can travel quickly, especially in calm conditions. And even if the fisherman isn't actively reeling anything in, the simple presence of fishing gear can leave a trace in the water. For a shark, that might be all it takes to come in for a closer look. If sharks are naturally attracted to kayaks to begin with, it's not hard to imagine that a scent trail and live bait or blood would spark an interest much greater. Perhaps this is why when I see kayakers with their catch in tow, I've always spotted a shark nearby. I've circled the halibut in tow. You can see it shining on the water surface. This shark likely senses the distress signals being emitted by the live fish. Notice that despite what appears to be an easy meal, if it chose to have it, the shark is extremely apprehensive. As I filmed this, it did cross my mind that the shark may decide to go for it. But nothing happens and the fisherman seems oblivious to it all. His catch floats behind, and still the shark roams nearby. This might not be over yet. Once again, the shark continues its slow approach, but it never commits. This is a true example of just how cautious these creatures are. The shark heads to the other kayak. Maybe there's something easier there. Once again, the shark approaches from behind. This kayak fisherman also has a fresh catch in tow. And right here, the fisherman finally notices the shark. His reaction is immediate. He saves his halibut by pulling it out of the water. And in what is perhaps my favorite moment of this day, the fisherman gives me a thumbs up, acknowledging the situation. So what does this tell us? These moments aren't about fear. They're about awareness. That's the one thing we can take out of this. If you take these perspectives and apply them to the viral video we talked about earlier, I'd say that the shark that pursued the kayaker 
was simply acting out of instinct. I believe that had the fisherman turned his kayak to face the shark, the encounter may have ended sooner. The fact that he never turned the kayak around made the shark more comfortable staying behind him, curious, not aggressive. It's a compelling video and it gives us real insight into shark behavior. The bottom line is that great white sharks are often portrayed as aggressive hunters, but what we keep seeing is hesitation, curiosity, and restraint. Kayaks, especially fishing kayaks, seem to draw that curiosity, and most of the time these sharks leave without making a move. It's a reminder that understanding their behavior, not fearing it, is how we continue to safely coexist with them in the ocean. Okay, so that's going to do it for this week. As always, I appreciate your support, especially to those of you on Patreon. And if you can, please drop me a comment, share the video, and remember, everything you see here is real. Keep it real, my friends.